Karen, thanks for that, Curtis. A big announcement from Governor Greg Gianforte today. He is making changes to the state's COVID-19 directives, including lifting the statewide restrictions on operating hours and capacity for businesses like bars and restaurants. But that decision does not mean immediate changes in some areas. MTN's Jonathan Ambarian reports. Governor Greg Gianforte says his goals were to make state directives on COVID-19 simpler and easier to understand, and to remove what he saw as arbitrary restrictions on businesses. These new directives are clear. They are practical. They are common sense. Gianforte's updated directive will take effect Friday morning. It removes the previous administration's requirement that bars, restaurants, breweries, and casinos operate at 50% capacity and close by 10 p.m. However, this change won't override local health boards that have adopted their own capacity or hour restrictions. Gianforte said he consulted with health leaders, businesses, and others before making his decision. We can reduce the burden on our small business owners while simultaneously protecting the health of Montana workers and customers. These two are not mutually exclusive. The new directive also removes the specific limit on the size of gatherings. It says public events should be managed in a way that meets CDC guidelines on things like social distancing. Gianforte said about 42,000 Montanans have received their first doses of COVID vaccine, and that pharmacies expect to have vaccines to 97% of long-term care facilities by the end of the month. This is the path to the day when we can take off our mask, throw it in the trash, and go on with our lives in a safe manner, and I know all of us want to get to that point, and I'm, I hope it comes soon. Gianforte said he's pleased that the federal government now says people 65 and older can be vaccinated, but that he's not going to make any immediate changes to his plan, which calls for people 70 and older in Montana to be vaccinated first. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News. Gianforte previously announced plans to remove the state mask mandate, but that will not happen until more people have been vaccinated and the state legislature adopts liability protections for businesses and other organizations.